Go Topless is not there to, to ask for the right to go topless on a beach. It's to say gender equality means a woman should have the same rights across the board as a man. So if a man can go top free in a park or walking down the street or in a yoga class or wherever it is, a woman should have the same right. Women, the Bible says that you should be keepers in the home. Right now in Venice, it is actually legal to wear a pasty on the beach. But if you show your nipples, a police officer could come over and say, okay, you have to put your, your, your bathing suit back on um, or I'll fine you. If you don't, he'll probably give you three warnings before they arrest you. You'll have a file um, that will be put in the same file as a sex offender. Men are so conditioned, uh, both physiologically and culturally, to respond, not just to breasts, but specifically to the nipple. You know, the nipple is, is the erogenous zone, the source of food, the thing that is sexually responsive. Last year in the Middle East, we had Arabic women who decided to wear skirts above the knees to show their legs to support Go Topless Day because certainly in their culture, they couldn't take their burqa off, but just protesting enough to show their kneecaps in public was a huge accomplishment. It really reminds me of the Victorian era where women had to wear, you know, collars up to here and full length dresses and gloves and sleeves down to their wrists because God forbid a man might be titillated. I think a lot of that is still in play. We have to protect women by protecting them from men. One of the people on the commission said to me, you know, so would you be happy if we changed a law to say that men had to cover up? And I said, you know, yeah, that could prove a point. In many cultures around the world, women are topless all the time. I'm from Cameroon, that's where I was born, and I came to the United States when I was 18 years old. I feel like this is a free country, and you know, something as small as a nipple should not be an issue. To have men think too, you know, what if we weren't able to take our shirts off anymore? Now maybe they can understand like how we feel and see how there's inequity between men and women. For women, there's this long-standing ideal that the most significant thing you can contribute in society is beauty. For some men, because the breasts are considered a sexual organ, there's no way to be flexible about the role of the breast. The movement is great and we have to start somewhere. I personally, as a sex therapist for nearly 25 years, am not encouraged. We can't even have conversations with our kids about sex. We have to start in infancy to undo these negative associations and connotations about sex and just teach humans that sex is a natural, beautiful, and celebratory thing.